Hello and welcome to another report on the Burzelden car boot sale on the 7th of December. I'm joined here with Gail Fing. Can you say hello? Hello. Right. We've got lots of pictures to get through, so we're just going to whiz through them and see if there's anything interesting. We'll stop, yeah? Okay. Right, this time I got there really early. I got there at 7 this morning and it was pitch black. <laughs> yeah, you can see. I'm amazed there's anybody there. And there's, uh, there's the entrance. So I had to pay 50p to get in. And I had my torch ready and my umbrella because it looked like it was going to rain. <laughs> and I got a coffee today Ooh. at the stand there. And there's the chap with the lightsaber. It's not, it's actually a... A one thing, yeah. Uh, like what they use for the aeroplanes yeah. to, to guide them in. So he was in charge. Oh my goodness, That's one of those things. <laughs> scary head. So when me and my sister were little, we ha um, she had one of those, and we used to plait the hair and brush it and do all sorts of things. That's weird seeing I that. think that was bought quite quick because I didn't see it again. But mm. anyway, moving on. As the sun got up a bit, I, I just nice. had a quick walk around, and I just drank my coffee and waited for the light to come up a bit. So I waited for the light. The light. <coughs> and Fridges. This, yes, they were sold pretty quickly. They were... Uh, being unloaded from the house clearance vans there's two of them or three of them uh, and they were doing the best trade i think because i stuck around them and they were they were they were wheeling things out yeah and they were just being bought out immediately i think they were selling for something ridiculous like 10 or 20 pounds wow. i'm sure they weren't because they if they're yeah. just house clearance it means that an owner's got a house they've inherited well, yeah. let's say but it doesn't mean necessarily that they work because if the person was elderly they may not have been able to use no, it no anyway. so you take that risk that's why they were cheap and yeah. you know if they wanted to sell the house they want everything got rid of yeah. so they just pay these people to come in and i guess they have to look everything in 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 there for free i suppose well yeah or, or it's a deal you know 100 pounds the whole house contents mm. so that was nice. Yes. So that was wheeled out. I had one look at it and already it was sold. I'm not surprised. It was taken away by a van. <laughs> nice nice chair. It's just it's, it hasn't got any cushions. No. So I think they must have sold at £40 pounds or something. Yeah. And, and that's, that's worth a lot of money. That's nearly that's new. That's worth probably a couple of hundred pounds if, yeah. um, if, it's in, if the rest of it, if it is in as good condition as it looks. <laughs> uh, there's boxes of stuff they're putting out, I think. Let's just break about. I just went through that. There's nothing interesting there. Mm. DVD. Well, PlayStation Two games. I did uh. buy a small bundle for about forty p each. I don't know if I'm going to use them or sell them. So uh, we'll see more of that. So I'm just mm. going to whiz on as a angle grinder. Uh, not angle grinder. <laughs> a circular saw. I'll see one every week. Uh. Um, there's guys just selling DIY bits. I think they're um, can, containers of glue or, or filler uh, or sealant. I think they might be a pound. You can buy bikes. Uh, if you need a bike. And there's a new generator. There's a new generator. <laughs> Last yeah. week we saw an old clapped out oh, one. Yeah, that was a new one. one. And I, I looked on the internet and um, I didn't get quite good reviews of these, but I don't know. I think they wanted about two hundred pounds for those. Oh, no. I'm not surprised. That was for sale. Yeah. They wanted about six thousand pounds for that camper van. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh yeah, I brought along just that. That's changed with me today. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. Um, toy Henry Hoover. I was going to say that's got to be. Why is it all pink? Hetty Hoover. I don't know. Um, I don't know about much about equestrian. Um, uh, that was a saddle. saddle. Yeah, How much do you think he wanted for that? I don't know, but it looks very small. Uh, it's ten pounds. I was going to say it's probably it's small. Uh, it's probably I'll a kid's see. saddle. So, oh, but if you look at equestrian bits and pieces, they can go for hundreds of pounds, can't they? They can do. Yeah, but that's a kid's one, so um, not much good for mm. me. <laughs> no. You're a bit too big. Oh, it's a Galileo thermometer. That was sold straight away. L next time I turned around, it was gone. That's a beautiful so thing. I probably I've bought always, that for a pound. I've always wanted one of those. Oh, you should have said. I would have bought one. Oh. I think they're about £20 brand easily, new. Easily, easily. It's one that big is easily that You can get them in Ikea, I think. We can get them off. in lots of places. 
That was nice though. I, I think I should have bought that. They are know. lovely. I like Galileo This, Yeah, these items are all from that house clearance. So this was a computer and that was sold quickly. That looks like a homemade computer jobby, I think you'll find, because yeah. it's, um, you've got the different mix match um, bits to the, to the stack there. Well, that was sold. I, I can never think, mm, should I buy a computer from a jumbo sale? Would it work? Mm. <laughs> That's the risk you take, isn't I it, with anything? You sold it for £20 or something. That was an interesting Egyptian yeah. photo album from the house clearance van yeah. or lorry. I looked inside it and they had pictures of this elderly couple and the pictures are quite old. Yeah. The sad thing was that the stuff we were going through was probably their yeah. items, unfortunately. Well, that's the thing with house clearance. You're looking at someone else's life treasures, you know. They had pictures of them abroad. and It's a lovely album, though. I like that. Uh, next time I went back and sat, but I was gone. That was sold. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's, it's a nice album. It's unusual. I, I wouldn't think of buying an album. But maybe people just take the pictures out and, and they, then they would keep do. the album for themselves. They would do. And in some ways, that's very very sad. It's it shows that there's um, it is it shows that either there's no family or that the family just aren't interested in retaining stuff like that. Or didn't see sad. it or know about it. Uh, sad. Yeah. Anyway, what's next? Uh, more on the house clearance vans, these electrical bits. There's a Walkman there, and that was gone straight away. Um, yeah. They're going for about five, ten pound on eBay, and that's got like quite a good condition one. Mm. Quite a good condition one. Um, so I haven't got use for a Walkman, unfortunately. Mm. Uh, more from house yeah. clearance TV, and the that was solved straight away, mm. unbelievably. The next Ooh. stand, that was really nice. That was lovely. There was a lady selling these kind of things, and the next time we walked around, that was sold. She was selling stuff very quickly. That is beautiful. That's some a sort of little Japanese tea. or it's Chinese a tea, tea set. Mm. It's, it was in good condition. That is really lovely. Somebody got a really nice, nice thing there when they bought that. Tools. Tools for 50p. I, I went up close and took a picture. I don't know if anything there was. It looks like a lot of rusty bits in these. <laughs> You'd have to clean them up. And they were a pound, I think, all these tools next to it. Uh, garden tools. Bowling balls? Bowling balls. I think they were sold the next time I went around, but I didn't see anybody lugging them around. <laughs> Mm. Can you just take them from the bowling alley? Is that what people do? Well, I know some people do buy their own and take their own when they go bowling if they're serious. <laughs> I know, I know an uncle of mine. He, I'm sure, he used to have his own bowling ball. Um, yeah, this is a. I'll just stood back from these house clearance vans. You can see how many people were just waiting around, mm. and they probably took about three hours to get everything out from the lorry yeah. or truck. <laughs> And there's some bits they've already got out. So all the bric a brac. Uh, they had some jigsaws. They had a box of jigsaws, and that was 2p, I think, back in the old days. <laughs> I don't know how much he wanted for it. Oh, it's India. It's India? Is it Africa? India, yeah. No, it's India, because there's the Taj Mahal. Uh, and there's tiger, elephants. Ah, that's nice little there, There's more. I'll just click <coughs> on. Oh, yeah, it says. India down the bottom. <laughs> Place name quiz. It's written on the box. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that then? That's probably Cornwall. Or Correct. That's Nuki. That's Ooh. QE2. And there's a little model plane. Mm -hmm. The price tag of ten pounds on it when they bought it. So. Wow. Mm. Oh, that looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see at the beginning of this video the the video of the laughing policeman. I, I recorded him singing. <laughs> he wanted two pounds for it, and I thought, oh, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> Could I don't think I'll sell him. He, he might get about thirty pounds if I sold Could him on the internet. Could resist that one? Could you? Well, I knew he would move because I looked on the bottom. He had a badge. You knew he bottom. would move. Yeah, literally, he does. <laughs> And he would probably sing the Laughing Policeman, so uh, <laughs> I, he was just a cheeky chappy, and I thought, oh, that's, yeah. that's seven. 
<laughs> and more house clearance, uh, right. just a pile of clothes. I mean, people were walking away from it, thinking, saying, um, oh, it's just too hard to look for things. But people were just digging around in there. Yeah. Pipes? Not no. tyres, but pipes. Oh. I think they're quite valuable, but... I can be, but unless you know exactly what pipe are. you need and everything, then... I mean, if you wanted to get that at the um, hardware store, you're talking £50, yeah. easily, or £100 each. But, but the thing is, like I said, unless you know exactly which pipe it is you need, you could buy it and then never find a use yeah. for it. So. I think they were sold in the end. I can not see it. And there's another chair that was sold very quickly. Mm, quite nice. That's nice. Um, those are sold quickly as I well. Saw drinks cabinet. Oh, is that what it was? Mm. You see, I didn't have anyone to talk to because you didn't come. Obviously, <laughs> I didn't I have thinking, anyone to do it. To what say. was it? I was just talking there's to strangers. About, there's about 500 people there, but I didn't have anybody to do it. Do I did bed. Yeah, that was sold quick. I don't know how much. These, I think they were sold. These are like, are they Copper. Egyptian? No, they're, I would say they're more Indian rather than yeah. they're not. They're not real. It's no, they're just, not valuable, um, are they? They're guitar hero. Yeah, I made the mistake of buying one of those mm. last a few weeks ago, and it's hard to sell those. Rubbish. Pictures. Yeah, pictures. He's just putting out. How much can you strap to your vehicle? <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of PlayStations there. Yeah. Uh, these are ten pounds each, and they were sold as well. Yeah. I think on the internet they're commanding about ten to twenty pounds, so fair value. Ah, uh, this time I went to the other side of this stand, and he was selling Hoover's all. Uh, cling filmed up. There's more Hoovers. Do we need a new Hoover? No. No, we don't need a new Hoover. Sure. I oh, mean, the one I got down there, I think I. How much did I. I think I got that for free. <laughs> did I, I? I can't remember. That Panasonic one. I can't remember, but it works and it sucks up, cleans up, so. <laughs> it's fine with me. Teaspoons. I, I suppose the seller was sifted all through those. There's no solid silver ones. No, they wouldn't, be. they wouldn't be. Well, you did find some solid silver ones in that well, um, clearance one, shop. There was one solid silver. The others were electroplated. Ah. Little shire horse. Yeah. Skis. <laughs> I think they were sold as well. I don't know how much he wanted, but. I don't well, we I can't store them. <laughs> well them. when are we likely to go skiing anyway? <laughs> some bike bits. That looks like a load of rubbish to me. No, they are bike bits. I think a lot of people thought they were rubbish and in the middle is uh, some suspension forks, lock shocks. And when I'd you say bike bits, do you mean pedal bike or do you mean push bike, bike? And pedal bike. Uh -huh. And um that had a price ticket of three pounds, oh. and I only realised when I got home they're worth probably about ten twenty. But it's a bulky thing to have to move post. To, yeah, to it's not worth it. And uh, I could put them on my mountain bike that I don't really use. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, it's, it's pointless. Toys. Toys. Tools. Toys, tools. Yeah. Related. Cables again. I was going to say that's familiar. No, this is well, a different set of cables, isn't it? I mean, it's a different knot of them, yeah. What they should do, if I was a seller, I would sit at home one evening, go through them, band them up, put prices on them, and put what they're for. That would really help because no one's going to stand there and go through that, are they? <laughs> and even then, if they did, they would just give you a few 50p. Pick up the knot and say, How much? <laughs> I'll give you 50p. Now, if you look closely, there's a CB radio in there. I was going to say, I thought that's what that was. And I think they were worth about but 10 But is that the pounds. radio? Because is that connected or is it just a... Um, there's a CB radio with a that coiled cable... Um, talker, speaker. Talker, speaker thing. I don't know if it worked. It's more PlayStation 1 games. I think they're selling for about a pound mm. market value and that's all they're worth. And unfortunately, if you... I did buy some PlayStation 2 games for 40p each. The problem is, some are scratched and you yeah, don't know if work. they work mm. unless you've got a system to try them on. Here's some old systems. Wow. Can you identify them? I think that's an Amstrad 464 CPC. Yeah, and that's. Uh, is that an Amiga? No, it's an Atari ST. 
they're probably worth about 10 to 20 pounds each at the moment uh -huh. well, oh, laptops there's a chap just selling laptops and they range from about 60 to I don't know 90 pounds mm. I'm sure they I sh I'm sure they do they do work so if you wanted a laptop there you go mm. clocks I <laughs> clocks clocks I don't want a clock what's oh, that a boy the boy like, they wanted six pounds for that well, what would you do with it put it on the side well, of your boat yeah it is it's a boy it's, it goes on the side of the boat to um flotation so it doesn't s scratch against the moorings yeah you know? If you if you see um, the big yachts and the boats and that tied up at, at the docks and everything, they've well, got. Surely, want boys. a new one that's all clean oh, and. That. If there's a boat that's tied up at the docks, it doesn't matter if you use it. It could be a trawlerman or something like that. Then you don't need a brand new one. Okay, there's some torches lights. there. I see the lights. What on earth is that? Is that? Oh, like a game rider thing oh, yeah. for a little kid. <laughs> yes, it moves around. <laughs> wow, imagine being a little tiny kid being thrown about. Yeah, it's an old fan. It's uh, an interesting little box. My biggest fan. What I box? That one there with the um, the pictures on there. It's interesting. I suppose. Uh, oh, we got some dead, some little Toby like Toby jug things. Yeah, and the next picture should show them. Ah. I don't collect beef jokes. Beef eater. Well, I don't think they're. The there's a couple that are smaller. Toby drug, Toby drugs, Toby jugs, <laughs> but um, they're a slightly different type as well. Ford RS Cosworth. Scalette's tricks. I believe they were probably complete and they worked. Mm. Um, on the internet, they're asking about. 30 20 pounds for those mm. so they might be worth they're, they're quite old in the night they're from the 90s aren't they early 90s yeah if it's a, a Cosworth um train I didn't find the train set this week oh dear the engaged train set there wasn't that many stands this time and all I could find is these trains mm. <laughs> I couldn't find any bigger gauge trains these are just just on stands don't even move no so there was no o double o that's the normal size yeah. model railway train this week not even any carriages so. oh it was a guitar case someone was just selling musical bits and pieces mm. there's two big speakers there he's just showing the guy yeah. how it opened up and more petrol powered tools there's a box full of cameras again. Mm. Well, I was thinking I could buy a brand new camera for fifty pounds from Samsung, and, it, and it's the best like camera going. One just take a gamble with a cheaper yeah, that's one an that old, may not um, work. Lens, old lens there. Yeah, but then you've got to have the camera that it'll fits fit, yeah. too. So. Oh, that's a nice picture. That was sold quite quickly. I think it's a might be a is it a print. Oh, it's bed soap. It's nice. Seascape. More house clearance chairs. These were mm. sold. I think any furniture like that that just went yeah. very quickly. Even the Hoover went. And this is more house clearance from Bits a distance. Yeah. That's a DVD Deep recorder. Code. I don't think we'd ever use those things now because you've got these hard drives you can record off the telly now mm. it's called a, well people use sky boxes i'll show you one in a minute yeah i know what they are what on earth is that that's a cactus oh so i was looking at it thinking it what the heck is it there uh, why would anybody sell that well that's from the house clearance again i mean actually I, that's probably an old thing You're i was walking around and they had a box of smaller cactuses or cacti mm and people were buying them well that one there you'll probably find that was sold very yeah, quickly as well you'll find that's an old cactus because they it takes a long time for them to get that tall. well they're dangerous aren't they to have in the house surely i wouldn't have one well, not if you um not if you have it out of the way my mum had one she had one when she got it when she was little about that big mm. 
uh, at the moment I believe it's still in Nan and Grandad's greenhouse out in the garden because it because it's got spikes that, are that long. And it, it's She's showing me a, a spike about three inches long. From the floor, <laughs> it's about that high now, and it's about, about four about foot that high, three yeah. foot high. Yeah. Well, there we go. because so, they had to something well, for everyone. Had there. to move it out of the house because it was so big. There's a microwave that was sold very quickly. I think yeah. he wanted ten pound for it. Um, Trouble with that, you've got to check that it doesn't leak because. Um, well, that's, that's probably being sold on. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't buy a second hand microwave. Would you? I wouldn't buy a ooh, old stereo. They were sold very quickly as well. Why is it that like that telephone is fluffy? That's one of those old-fashioned phones that first you, everyone had when everyone when you your first ever phone that your parents say yeah. in the 70s <laughs> or, or 80s but it looks like it's soft rather than well, it's a normal phone but it's got a like a uh, is it a satin or suede cover oh i see so when you when you grab it it's not cold to the oh, touch goodness me. but that was sold very quickly it's sheepskin is it like a Dell like boy it, no, phone. No, it doesn't, doesn't look it. It's like it's just like suede stuff. It's just weird. I, I did um, dial it just for <laughs> old, old time's sake. Because I remember one of my parents. <laughs> and you dialed the wrong number, you got to start again. Yeah. Well, my parents had what, a red one. We had a cream. The bat phone. Yeah, we, we, had, we had a cream one. So, yeah, a bit, bit of nostalgia. I, this was definitely an old person's home that were clearing out. Because yeah. who, who has those phones now? Even that stereo. <laughs> that stereo is from the 80s, I'm sure. Uh, um, more bits. Junk or everything. Breakfast <laughs> yes. Oh, that's, that's, a very, phone. that's a very old and grotty looking phone. Yellowed in the sunlight. Uh, I don't think that was sold. There's some clocks there. And a pot plant holder that's rather dirty. That that clock there in the middle with the chimes, I yeah, that's rather nice. That was sold for four pounds, I think. Yeah, it it I don't think it's as old as it looks. No, no, sorry, it's it's Probably not as old as the old. effect. Yeah, it's it's a um, muck up if you like it's a, a mock. cheap muck. There's some old uh, record players, and musical there. equipment. Yeah. yeah. There's a Sky Plus box there. Oh, that's a pretty plate with the kingfishes and the um, king cups on at the back. That's nice. See it? Uh, I don't tend to see stuff like that. <laughs> I normally go for the electrical, yeah, electrical stuff. But that that white thing is a Sky Plus box. And um, I was overhearing people asking sellers, "Oh, have you got a Sky Plus box for sale?" And I don't know how much they go for, but they're worth about ten or twenty pounds. Mm. See. But uh, that kingfisher plate. It's very pretty. I don't know if that was sold in you. you. We could have got that for 50p, I think. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Headphones. Headphones. Someone picked this up and put it back down again, and they wanted £10 for it. And I looked closely at it, and they were called Pioneer. £10. Yeah. And they're quality headphones. They're, they're the professional. They look mm. professional, don't they? I mean... Um, Back in the day when they came out, they must have been fifty hundred pounds. <laughs> you walk, you see people walking around with Dr. Joe Beats, and they're hundred or two hundred pounds each. Mm. But anyway, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't be part of the gang if you wore those. Though, I'm afraid because they just don't look. They're, they're old school. <laughs> Right, bikes, more bikes. Wheels, snooker. The snooker or pool table. Ladders. <laughs> there is a lot of metal there. Mm. The chain. I think someone bought that in the end. Um, games. games yeah. I think I visited this store last week, but I didn't look at this end of the table. So mm. we've got some Mega Drive. Mega Drive and Nintendo 64 and a mm. Atari. Bit of everything, really. Bit of everything. More games. More games. They say you could Mega Drive games for £5 each. I think on eBay, that's probably what they're going for. Mm. 
They haven't really gone up in value at all compared to Nintendo well, games. Well, the thing is, is that there's so many of them. I can't imagine... Well, I mean, it's, I'm surprised they're still worth that much money, to be honest with you. Yeah. Stop! Um, I thought this was a lollipop sign, but it's not. It's works. It's, it's a joke one, do you think? Probably, yeah. Stop works. <laughs> It wouldn't be foldable, would it? No. Hey, that's weird. It's an old idol or a, a carving. Well, not old, but you know, it's a um, pussy cat. The uh, whiskers cat food for two pound fifty. I don't know if they were. They were probably close to their dates. Mm, probably. But that's, that seems good value, doesn't it? Mm. You can't go wrong for that. Proper make. Mm. If you got a cat. Um, this. I looked at each individual one and there were letters basically that were supposed to be put on a like a board which lights up. Oh right. I so see. it's like a shop sign or something. Yeah. And someone bought that after I put it back down. <laughs> and if you got a use for it, otherwise it's Well I don't know, it's worth probably a fair bit. No, I doubt it. I'd be very surprised. Food. Yes, there's, there's a chap that comes in in a van and he sells um, either close to expired or expired food. So mm -hmm. you get seven packets of crisps for a pound or ten chocolate bars for, over for a pound or something like that. Nuts. No solid silver plate. Oh, it's not. No, no. I I made that mistake once when I bought this urn, I think, and um, they put the price ticket over the markings, and I mm. thought, oh, this must be silver. There's no markings on it. But when I build it back, it is electro plated. Um, it must be silver. There's no markings. <laughs> that, that was backwards. Well, I didn't know anything about silver um. back then. You know, the novice would say, oh yes, it must be silver, but of mm. course they wouldn't put anything solid silver out. Would they? Mm, of course not. So that's electro plated. Yeah. It's a nice thing to have. But it tarnishes after so long, so. This was just outside. We're coming to the end. It's only a few, few more pictures left. But this is a mini, uh, not mini, <laughs> a VW, VW Beetle. And it's a convertible. Mm. Do you want to guess how much they want for that? I've obscured the number plates, obviously. They um, tell me they wanted a stupid amount for it. I'd say about fifteen hundred quid. How much? Fifteen hundred quid. <laughs> That's scrap it. They wanted seven thousand, but it had new tyres and new wheels. And seven thousand pounds. Well, I suppose if you're a collector, or you know, if you lived in seven thousand, if you pounds? go to Beauty Motor Museum a lot. And uh, you like cars? I, s I suppose seven thousand would be probably about right. I mean, VW camper vans are commanding a lot of money now, aren't they? Mm. They're very collectible, iconic. Mm. <laughs> You're not convinced? No. <laughs> my Sitting my dad's there, car. His first I? car was that. Uh, it was exactly that colour as well, but it was a convertible. It's a 1.3. Uh, uh, no, uh, yes. No, it was 1.1, I remember. The engine was in the boot. Yeah. It was quite noisy when it started up. Yeah. And I think all my dad ever said about it was it was really expensive to service at the time because all the parts had to be imported from Germany. Uh, and, you know, back in those days, in the 70s and 80s, importing parts. Yeah. Wasn't I can't that believe common. that. Seven thousand pounds. Uh, yeah. And then back at the beginning again. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that? <coughs> yeah, it's alright. A lot more pictures this time. Yeah, uh, seeing all the mad stuff they got for sale. But I hardly <coughs> bought anything apart from the laughing Which policeman. Is good because there doesn't look like there was an awful lot there that would have been worth buying. <laughs> no. Well, we're up to thirty minutes. So thanks for joining us. Until next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Everybody says he is the happiest man in town.